Because of the summer evening in 1954, it opened its wings and I received its revelation. Because of summer nights behind the mosque, because it signals the height of summer, because of its mathematical precision at the infinite disposal of curiosity, because its markings are the summation of military heraldry, the olive green of the English military, because it is a tropical species here in southwestern Ontario, because they are nocturnal, tropical, thin points of extreme beauty, sculptural perfection in living and dense wood, because their chrysalis resembles a vase, their humming flight and the insoluble intricacy of their June camouflage, because of the size and gothic modeling of their pincers, their chestnut brown elytra, because it is so tiny, weighs as much as a dime, because it is pale underneath, tawny above, because it is the eyes of night, because it is even larger like a fox bat, because it is our largest and only cat, because they are capricious night gliders, because it is a predator, because of its inky fur, tunnels twisting around roots, because it is a southern species migrating northwards, evidence for an interglacial warming trend, because of their glowing eyes in the driveway at night, their rasping marsupial cries, because of the caves, because of its unearthly face, because it is all of night, because it is a falcon, because it is subtropical, because it is a stilted and accurate blue mist, because it is the north unwarranted in an oxbow pond, because it is a tropical species migrating slowly northward starting at Point Pelee, because it is a subtropical iridescent metal, because it is the Arctic migrating at the center of blizzards, because they are astonishing aerialists, because the vacuum of space is so near, because of a dream, because they draw out the soul, anticipation, electric radiance, the irresistible approach of the arc hammer, excitation in the ion shadows, because they come after you and seem to float in dreams, the bend sinister, because of the storm, because of an erotic insularity in the moist, almost tropical wind, because they illuminate everything in a gray, powdery light and turn the outside into a surreal theater of marvelous intent. The warmth allows the spectators to remove their clothes. Lunacy and a Saturnalian trance of corporeal clarity, because they are tropical, because they are both out of place and welcome, because they witnessed extinct races of fabulous creatures, because it is carnivorous and wet, because it is a carnivorous morning jewel in the sphagnum, because they are full lips and vulvas and are all of summer, because they are a tropical species here in southwestern Ontario, because it has huge leaves and is tropical with cerise, Jurassic fruit because it is fragrant and tropical, because its fruits are pungent, because the flowers are huge, night glowing and perfumed, because of the pools, because their smooth mahogany pebbles are enclosed in vegetable geodes, because of fulvia centralis, because they flowered all of beneath into above and translated it perfectly, because it is a living fossil, because of the color and smoothness of its bark, the silence and level loam floor of the beech forest, because of the fragrance of its gum, because of the wooden petals of their flowers, because of the waterfalls in the morning glen, because it is the memory capital of Canada, because I perceived an order there, because of midsummer nights, memory steeped in fireflies, because it overlooks Lake Huron, because the cedar pools are nearby, for it was once submerged, because it is a huge, invisible river, because of the collections in gray, powdery light of Toronto winter afternoons spent in the Devonian era because it is a semi-tropical iridescent metal on the same latitude as California, because it is a beautiful and glorious natural shrine of limestone, because it is awesome, because chronology was commenced there, because of the Black River formation, last hold out of the White Elm, because of the beech forest and what came after, because I got to know Lake Erie and glacial clay there, because I grew up beside them and they taught me everything I know because it is a huge and silent underwater predator, because it is huge and primitive, because it cruises, hovering, long-snouted crocodilian, because it is primitive. Thank you.